Iron Banner will be returning to us on December 8th and brings a new quest and two returning weapons for us to grind for. In this video I'm going to talk about the rewards first and then the quest. Timestamps are in the description. Just a reminder that this data is taken from the Destiny API and is subject to change. In Season of Hunt there will be two weapons turn, the Steady Hand Hand Cannon and the Guiding Sight Skull Rifle. The Steady Hand is a legendary kinetic hand cannon. It originally was given to us in Season 1, but is now earnable in this season with random rolls. It is a 120 RPM archetype hand cannon. Comes with aggressive frame, it's a high damage, high recoil, optimized for long distance shooting. The first set of perks you can get for it is Killing Wind, Zen Moment, Outlaw, Quick Draw, Slide Shot, Moving Target. Second set of perks are Iron Grip, Iron Gaze, Swashbuckler, Wellspring, Mulligan, and Snapshot Sights. The, the perks on this weapon are not too bad. Wellspring is pretty good. Kills with this weapon generate ability energy. Probably that and Outlaw, I would say, for me. 120s are just not my type of hand cannon to use in PvE. Let's take a look at the Guiding Sight. It's a legendary kinetic scout rifle. It's a high impact frame, meaning it's 150 RPM, just like Jade Rabbit. High impact frames are slow firing and high damage. This weapon is more accurate when stationary and aiming down sights. Take a look at the perks here. The first set of perks, you can get Rapid Hit, Slide Shot, Quick Draw, Surplus, Ambitious Assassin, and Hip Fire Grip. For the second set of perks, you can get Iron Grip, Iron Gaze, Vorpal Weapon, One For All, Osmosis, and Zen Moment. But for PvP, I'd probably go for Rapid Hit, Iron Gaze, Increase Aim Assistance, or even Zen Moment. There will be two shaders earned this season, Marble Effigy and Crackle Brass. There is also a new emblem, 1530 Centigrade. It's a pretty cool looking emblem. It looks like the armor set that they're going to be putting in for this season is going to be the Season of Opulence armor set. Let's take a look at the Seasonal Iron Banner quest. There are six steps in total. The first step is called Shaped by Iron. You will have to capture 10 zones, defeat 30 guardians, and defeat 5 guardians with void abilities. The second step is called No Games, No Sympathy. You will have to kill 25 guardians with energy weapons, complete 6 crucible matches, and capture 20 zones. The third step is called Paying Respects. You will have to get 20 scout rifle kills, capture 30 zones, and defeat 100 guardians. The fourth step is a tower rebuilt. You will have to defeat 15 guardians with super, capture 40 zones and get 15 hand cannon kills. Raising the banner quest step, you will have to capture 50 zones, complete 15 crucible matches and defeat 10 guardians with precision final blows. The sixth and final step is called From the Mountain and it requires you to return to Lord Saladin. This is everything we know so far about the iron banner that is set to be released on December 8th. Don't forget that there will be a freelance mode, so solo players only. But after playing competitive to get powerful drops, I don't know if I'm going to be playing much iron banner this season unless they do something about the stasis. Lord Saladin gives us an interesting text during the Iron Banner. Here it is. Young Wolf, you've been reckless. Lord Saladin measures your presence up and down. You and Zavala both know better. He scoffs at you. Is the city so desperate for allies that you've forgotten the light? Forgotten what I've taught you? He shakes his head. Look upon the Traveler. It is the only ally you'll ever need. The Iron Lord's frustration propels his every word. Your scoundrel friend says nothing kills a guardian faster than a guardian. He's not wrong. Saladin is stern and unyielding. Hubris toppled the war mind where we failed. It preferred our land as we huddled listening to static. Saladin leans forward and growls. Take care you don't fall prey to it. Or the darkness won't be who comes for you. Thanks for watching my Destiny video.